Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I always look that way because there's a window and every time someone's walking by, I feel like they're peeking in here because I have a light and a camera right in front of my face and it's probably my creeper neighbor. Anyways, so like I said, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, what I have is a Zodiac collab with a bunch of other great people on here. Everybody's channel will be linked down below. So please go ahead and check out their channels. Check out this big collab that we did on Zodiac signs. So it is March. My birthday is on March 17th. It's actually on Saturday. So I am a Pisces. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a picture right over here on either side, which is where I kind of got my inspiration. I just kind of wanted to look at certain pictures or like makeup looks, but I just ended up on like like color wheels for like Pisces. So there was like a lot of pinks and teals and greens and purples and I love purples. So this is kind of what I came up with. I wanted it to make it colorful, somewhat wearable, add glitter, big lashes. So if you wanna see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay guys, so to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna use that to conceal and use this as a primer for my eyeshadow. And I am going in with my MAC 252. I recently picked this up and I really, really like it just because it's really, really big. So let's go ahead and do that. And now since I'm not gonna set this with any kind of powder, I just like to keep using this big brush and kind of just pat it down until it sets. Okay, so now I am going in with my 35B by Morphe. It's a little beat up as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade from the palette here, this purple here. Now I'm just really gonna pack it onto my brush as so. This is just a R39, it's like a tapered crease brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of stamp exactly where I want that. Since I know I want that to kind of be the darkest color of the look, I'm just gonna kind of stamp that on there so I can get the intensity that I know I want a little bit faster then by going in and blending and in and blending some more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that until I get the intensity that I want. Now that I have that packed onto the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend out those edges with this pinky purpley shade right down here. And I'm taking this on a Luxie 231. It's just a smaller brush and it's just tapered. And I'm just trying to go right where that color ends and a little bit above it. That's why I'd like to use a little bit of a smaller brush and just do tiny circular motions. That way you can still see that little bit of pink, but we didn't have to initially start off with that color when we're only gonna end up with the light wash of it up here. So now that we have that down, I'm gonna go ahead and use this lighter pink, just a little bit of this one, to blend a little bit more. And now to start deepening it out a little bit more towards the outer V, I'm gonna go in with this darker purple. It's just below the first purple that we started with. So I am using this small tapered E45 by Sigma. It's just nice and pointed, so it kind of just helps me. And I still try to kind of raise my eyebrow a little bit and look straight ahead just because I know I still want the eyeshadow to, to be visible when I open my eye because I feel like my eyes are slightly hooded. Maybe not too much, but I still try to go a little bit above that. So 
So as you can see, I just kind of went back in with the same brushes that I used and applied a little bit more. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the black. There's a black on the far bottom right corner of this palette and I'm just taking very little of that black. I'm just gonna pack it out here. You can barely see it, but I'm just gonna pack it right here just to darken it. See, it's, it is there. And then I'm gonna go in with that pointed brush that I used with that darker one and just use it to kind of bring it up here. But that way I'm not blending that black and it's getting too black. It's just kind of smoking it out a little bit more. And again, just go back in with any of your previous brushes with the previous colors if you feel like they're not blended out as, as much as you'd like, you know? Okay, so now that we've done that eye, I am gonna go in with this Stila glitter called Into the Blue, but if I just put it on alone, it'll be a little, little bit sheer, so I am gonna go in with this. This is, I, I don't even know what this is. It's called Teal Tees, it's by e.l.f. I wanna say it's like a gel liner or an eyeshadow gel, I don't know. Anyways, I saw it and I thought it'd be perfect because I don't have anything like this. It's really, really creamy. So I just like to put it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna use this to carve out the lid. Okay, so now we have gone ahead and set that base. I'm just letting it dry a little bit before I apply this. So I am just gonna apply this directly with the wand. So let's go ahead. I love using these, these are awesome. See, now it just stands out a little bit more. I always do a swatch test on my, on the back of my hand and I do it with no base. And by base, it could be concealer. It could be a teal eyeliner, a gel liner, you know, so it can be whatever you have. The NYX jumbo pencils work great. So I saw this one at the store the other day and I thought it'd be perfect for actually a MAC pigment that I have, but it worked out really, really nicely with this. So now before this dries, since it is wet, I'm trying not to look up, but even though it is dark right here, I'm gonna add a little bit just because, I don't know, I wanna use this. So this is Max Reflex Glitter in the color Transparent Pink. I'm just gonna pat a little bit right out here between these two shades. Maybe you can't see it in person, but this reflex pink is really, really pretty, especially over this blue and these dark purples. It just makes it look a little bit like a fuchsia type of pinky purple. It's really, really pretty. Why I wanted to add on that on there, um, a little bit for of a, a pink gradient kind of to go with more glitter versus just stamping the pink right here, which it might not work very well because this is already wet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry and then I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes with my NYC liquid liner and pop on some lashes and I will be right back. So right now I'm just taking a little bit more of Into the Blue with a small Sigma eyeliner E10. This is really thin, it's perfect for eyeliner. And I'm just gonna carve out the crease a little bit more using Into the Blue but I kind of just wanted to do that to set a little bit of a tacky base to put a little bit more of my Reflex Pink by MAC because this is so pretty, you guys. This is so pretty. So that's what the eyes are gonna look like and now we can just move on to smoke out the lower lash line. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I went ahead and smoked out the lower lash line. I also did add a little bit more of that Stila into the blue 
in my lower waterline. I did just go ahead and skip my face. I will have every product that I use linked down below if you're interested, but I really did just want to focus on the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Bye-bye.